Okay, we're continuing to work through some example problems, and in these we will be multiplying radical expressions. And sometimes we have a radical expression raised to a power, like you see here. And we can simplify expressions like this just by using what we know about exponents. In this case, there are three things inside the parentheses, three things multiplied together, the 4, the a, and this radical. All three of those things get squared. So the answer is going to be 4 squared times a squared times this thing squared. And the square root of that squared is just that, a over b. And we'll simplify that by making the 4 squared a 16 and combining this a squared and this a to get an a cubed. So it's 16 a cubed over b will be the answer. The next example is also pretty easy. It's similar to that one. It's 3 times the square root of 2x squared. And so think of this as two things inside the parentheses, two factors multiplied together, the 3 and the square root of 2x. And each of those two things gets squared. So I have a 3 squared times the square root of 2x squared, which will just be 2x because the square root and the square will undo each other. So I have 3 squared times 2x. So that becomes 9 times 2x which is 18x. And then this next example is 2 times the square root of 3a and all of that is cubed. So to solve this, we need to take these two things, the 2 and the square root of 3a, and cube all of those. So this will equal 2 cubed times the square root of 3a cubed. So that's going to be the square root of 3a times the square root of 3a times the square root of 3a, because that's what it means to take something and cube it. We multiply it three times. Now two of these could be thought of as the square root of 3a squared. Those two together can be considered this thing squared or one of these things squared. So that's going to result in the square root and the squaring undoing each other. So I'm going to have a 2 cubed right there which is an 8 times this which will be a 3a and then I still have this square root of 3a over here on the end. And then I'll just simplify that so I get 24a times the square root of 3a. Sometimes simplifying an expression involves distributing and when we have radicals involved we still distribute as we normally would. In this one we have the square root of 2 times 4 plus the square root of 6, so we have to distribute. The square root of 2 will get multiplied by 4, so that gives me 4 times the square root of 2, plus, and then the square root of 2 gets multiplied by the square root of 6, and that gives me the square root of 2 times 6. Now let's rewrite that. This is 4 times the square root of 2 plus the square root of 12. And we've seen this before, the square root of 12 can be written as the square root of 4 times 3. So I have 4 times the square root of 2 plus the square root of 4 times 3. And this 4, when it gets square rooted, it becomes a 2. So it pops out as a 2 right there. So I end up with 4 times the square root of 2 plus 2 times the square root of 3. And that's my answer. My next example is 3 times the square root of x, and that's multiplied by 4 times the square root of x plus 2 times the square root of 2x. Now I need to distribute again. This 3 root x will be multiplied by the 4 root x and then by the 2 root 2x. So let's do that a step at a time. This is going to be 3 root x 
times 4 root x, I just multiply those two together, and then I have my plus sign, and now I'll multiply the 3 root x times the 2 root 2x. So it's 3 root x times 2 times the square root of 2x. Now let's simplify each of these pieces. This first one here, this 3 times 4 right there, gives me a 12. And this square root of x times the square root, square root of x gives me an x. So I have a 12x. All of this simplifies to a 12x. And then I have my plus sign. And then I have a 3 times 2 is a 6. And then this square root of x and this square root of x gives me an x. And then I still have this square root of 2 right there. So 6x times the square root of 2. And that's my answer. 12x plus 6x square root of 2. I can't combine these terms, even though I have this 12x and this 6x here. This term is not really just an x term. It's also a radical term. And it would be pretty common to leave it in this form. If you wanted to, you could factor this. That wouldn't be required unless you were told to leave your answer in factored form. But if you wanted to, you could factor out the 12, uh, a 6x from each term. And you could, you could write this as 6x times 2 plus the square root of 2. And one other thing to note that we could do here is um, we could just realize that 2 plus the square root of 2 is a number. And uh, square root of 2 is about 1.414 right there. So this works out to about 3.414. And that's multiplied by the 6. And if we do 3.414 times 6, we get 20.484. So this could be written as approximately 20.484x. And again, note, as we've seen before, this is a decimal approximation, and that's often useful. Um, this would be the exact answer, or this. Either of these two would be the exact answers, one in, um, in factored form there. If you wanted a decimal approximation in terms of x, that would be this down on the bottom.